Fifth grade, lesson 20, and this is three ways to show division. All right? I was just teaching you this way. This kind of problem says 4 times what equals 12. We've already determined that that's 3 based on some of the other problems we were doing, okay? So this is one way that you'll see a division problem written. Okay, let me show you another way. 12 divided by 4. Now that kind of looks funny, but it actually says the same thing. 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4. Okay, so this is the same problem, just written differently. Okay, there's one more way you'll see it. 12 divided by 4. See that? All three of these equal the same number. 3, 3, 3. Okay? Whenever I work a problem, a division problem, I always write it in this form. Even if I see it like this, I will write it in this form. So always remember, the first number goes on the inside. The other number goes on the outside. And then equals, your answer always goes at the top. Okay? And so let me give you what those numbers are called. So I'm going to just look at this one, this problem up here. So let me take one of my arrows to show you something, okay? Um, actually, let me, let me have you practice for just a minute, and then we'll do it. I'm going to teach you those other things. 12 divided by 6. Write it one way. 12 divided by 6. Very good. So the first way he did was 12 divided by 6. Okay, show me another way to do 12 divided by 6 based on what we are doing. Okay, 12, the biggest number always goes first. 12 divided by 6. Okay, that's how you would say it. 12 divided by 6. Excellent job, Eli. Okay, and there's one more way. 12 divided by 6. Okay, that's actually, it looks like a fraction, okay, because you've learned about fractions, okay? But sometimes these numbers, a fraction actually can mean 12 divided by 6. You'll learn about that later on, okay? So, these are three different ways to write the same problem. Do you understand? All right, now, let me tell you, let me give you um, words to these problems, okay? And this would answer would be 2, right? Now, this 12 is called... The dividend, write that word down, dividend. And the way I remember that that's the dividend is I try to remember N, even though that doesn't spell N, I-N, but it's on the N side of that, that box. See that? So always remember that that's called the dividend because it's on the N side, okay? The next number I want to highlight is this six. Okay, it's the one that's is the one that you're using to divide with, and it's called your divisor because you're dividing with it. I'm dividing this number 12 with this number, so it's called my divisor. Write that down. Okay, and draw an arrow to point to that number, to those numbers. The dividend is on the inside. The divisor is on the outside. It's the one you're using to divide. Divisor divides. Divides or divides, okay? My answer is a weird word that starts with a Q. Quotient. Q-U-O-T-I-N-E-N-T. -E Quotient, okay? That is the answer to a division problem, okay? Now, let's look at this one, okay? This one would be my... Um, Look right here. Twelve is divisor. my twelve is my dividend. Dividend. Okay, the first one's always the one going on the inside. Okay, twelve is my div dividend. The one that's dividing with is our divisor. Divisor, and my answer is the quotient. Quotient. It's kind of weird. The t t i s is sh sound. Quotient. <laughs> okay. Now let's look at this problem. The first one listed, first one listed is our dividend. Top one's dividend. <coughs> the one what we're di dividing with is the divisor. 
The answer is the quotient, right? Okay, so those are just a quick um, helping you understand, okay? So let me write down three different problems and I'll let you perform them. Ready? That's one problem. That's another problem. And that's a third problem. These are all division problems that I want you to try to figure out. Now remember to always write them in this form. It's probably the easiest way to see a division problem. Yes, excellent job. I'm going to write this next one into this form. 24 divided by 6. Okay? It's always best to see it in this form. Excellent job. Okay, he's working on his last one. Hopefully you're somewhere around there. He's finished. He did a great job. What we're going to do is we're going to work this one. This one says 3 times what equals 15? What's the answer? Uh, that was the 5. Very good. So, I'm saying that 3 times 5 equals 15. Very good. This one is written 24 divided by 6. But I'm going to move over here and take 24 and divide it by 6. Okay, so this is the same problem, just written in a different way. 6 goes into 24. Four times. Four times. Very good, okay? So we've got that one answered. Okay, and now we've got 36 divided by 9. Okay? And 36 divided by 9, I'm going to come over here and go 36. Always take the first one and write it here. First one, write it on the inside. First one, write it on the inside. 36 divided by 9. And 9 times 4 is 36. Okay, and so you've done three different problems, yet they were kind of all the same kind of problem division. Okay, and that is lesson 20.